Uh, good morning, gentlemen. Today's topic is triangle. At the end of this class, you should be able to construct a triangle ABC, giving the length of all three sides. You should also be able to construct a triangle when giving the base, the base angle, and altitude. You should also be able to construct a triangle when giving two sides and uh, included angle. You should also be able to construct a triangle when giving the hypotenuse and one side. In the previous class, you were given an assignment on triangle. That assignment encompasses um, you defining triangles and also you giving the three types of triangles and label the different parts of a triangle. Uh, from that, we know that the base is where the triangle sits. The base angle are the angles that are formed at the base. In this case, it's at point A and point B. The apex is the angle at the top, which is at C. <coughs> Sorry. The altitude. The altitude is basically the height of the triangle. The height of the triangle is the altitude. All right. So to get started, the first thing to do is to start uh, open a new drawing. So I click on application, then I click new. From that, I choose a template. For this, I'm going to choose ACAD ISO because this is in millimeters. We could also choose a card, which is inches. We could also choose sheet, all right? Sheets, from sheets, open, click on this two times. We could choose one of these templates. These templates are pre-bartered, all right? We could choose architectural metric, click that, open. And this would produce a, a, a template which is pre-bartered. It's important to note here that we have choice. We have different sizes of paper. So you could left, right, left, left, right click on this and um, choose paid setup to choose the size paper that you want. A4 is the regular typing sheet size paper. So if you want that size paper, we will choose A4. Currently, by default, this is A1. And A1 has a dimension of 594 by 989 by, by 841. That is way too large. So I'm choosing this paper, A4, which is 210 by 297. Then I click set current. This paper is now current. Close. To start drawing, we always draw in model space. So I click here. Oh. I think I should rename this to A4. So I'm gonna right click on this, go up to rename, click right there. <clears throat> then label, then type A4, and then click outside for that. So we just rename that sheet A4. Now I'm gonna click onto my model space, which is where we do all our drawing. Now we must set up our units for that we type UN. As the first thing we do, UN, enter. We then set our precision to zero as we want no decimal place. Currently, this is already in millimeters, but just in case you want another unit like inches or feet or something, you would change from here. Currently, I'm gonna, set, I'm gonna settle with millimeters. Click OK. So the first thing, set your unit. The next thing is to set your drawing limit. <clears throat> the limit is an imaginary space that you bring up on the screen to draw on. So you type LIM, enter, to accept limit. It will then ask me to specify the lower limit, which is normally 0, 0. So I type 0, 0, then enter. It will then ask me to specify the upper limit, Upper limit. The upper limit is the upper end of the, of the paper. Uh, let me explain in a little more detail what that is about. Um, I think I did this in a previous video. So this is the paper right here. 
the lower limit here would be 0, 0. This is where the paper starts. The upper limit, which in this case wants to be 297 by 210, by 210, 210. What this means is that on the x-axis, from here to here, from here to there, is 297, is 297. And here is 210. So just from, from graph or from maths, where you have the x and the y value, to get a point, to generate this point, 297 on the x, 210 up to get this point, to create the rectangle. So let me erase that. Any question, guys? Any question? Just one, sir. Yes, the layer, okay. sir. I'm coming As to the layer. La I will be getting to the layers next. So let's give me a little bit, okay? I'm getting to the layers. All right. So our limit now, we want this upper limit to be 297. All right. Let me click. All right. 297, comma, 210. Then enter. We then type Z, enter. A enter to bring that limit onto the screen. So we can now comfortably draw with that limit. Now, now that we set up our limit, the next thing that we must set up is our layers. So to do that, we click on left click on the layer properties. Yeah. And we click here to add a new layer. So left, left click here. Then we name this layer. I want the first one to be outline, O-U-T-L-I-N-E, outline. And I want this color to be, let's say, red. I choose red. OK. I want this line to be line type to be, let that stay for now. Please always change from your default layer. Default layer is a non-printable layer. So always change this, all right? So the color is red, line type is, line weight is 0.3. That is good. No, I want one more layer. I click one more time. Label this on dimension, D-I-M-E-N-S, dimension. For this, I want my dimension color to be um, blue. Click OK. Line type thickness, I want this to be 0.25, 0.25. Click OK. That is good. I want text. So we have, oh, 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 I need a construction line. Click here, C-O-N-S for construction. And I'm going to change the color of this to probably something pale, not so bright, like this. OK. Line with thickness 2.5 is OK. You could have another layer for text. Uh, so we add one more for text. So it's important to note that we always draw on a new, we draw different components of a drawing on a separate layer. Text on its own layer, dimension on its own layer, fixture on its own layer, door on its own layer, all right? So here we have these layers. These are good. Now I'm gonna set my construction line current. So I'm gonna click two time on construction and then close this. Sir, so about the layer, sir. I was wondering if, you, if there are ways to save the, the lines, so we do have to make them each time. Oh, yes. You could also create a template. And I have a video on how to create a template and save it so that you don't have to do it over and over. Yes. All right, sir. Yes. I, the video, check it out. Yeah. Actually, I said the video in the list of instructional videos, so you have it. All right? It's, it's there. All right, let us continue. <clears throat> so my next step now is to start drawing. We want to draw this. And I would really appreciate if it turned. First step is to draw a line 65 millimeters long. So how do I go about drawing a line 65 millimeters long? Talk to me, guys. So I left click. I engage my orthogonal mode. 
and I type 6565, enter to get that, right? Enter two times to end that line. So that's our first line. Our next line is, next step is to identify point C. Point C is 75 millimeters from B, and it is also 90 millimeters from A. If you were to do this traditionally, you would draw an arc from B up here <clears throat> and another arc from here. For AutoCAD, I'm not going to use an arc. I could, but I choose to use a circle as a circle is a part of an arc. So my first step is to draw a circle. I click on the circle command. Then it says specify the center. I click here. Then I move this out and I type 75 for my radius, 75, enter my radius. No, so now we have my first circle. Next step is to draw another circle from here at 90 with a radius of 90. <clears throat> so for that, I hit space bar or enter key to reactivate the last command. I then click the next side here, left click here, then type 90, 90, then enter key, and that gives us a second circle. No, at the point where both arcs meet is our point C. So my next step is to change from that layer to my outline layer. So I click onto this. I then go back to line, and I left click here, Deactivate orthogonal mode. It's important to know that I click here, then click here, then go back to there. Enter. And this is my triangle. No, this line, I, I, I intentionally made this line with an extra thickness, which is not visible. To make the line thickness visible, I need to click this. Line weight thickness. So this now shows the point three that I used instead of the point two five. No, we need dimension and we need text for this. We need A, B, and C. So for that, I'm gonna change to my text layer. Next, I'm gonna go up to the up to text, click onto my text, select single. Yeah. The command bar will then ask me to specify the start point. I'll then click where I want my text to start, which is here. It will then ask me to specify a text height. I want a text height of five. So I type five, enter. Next, the command bar will ask me to specify a rotation angle. I don't want the text to rotate. I want the text to be horizontal. So for that, I click. Enter, I, I press enter to activate that. I can then decide where I want my text to be. I click here for A, click here, then type press B, click here, then press C, then click away, then escape. And I have A, B, and C. That is good. The final step is to dimension this figure. It's important to note that every drawing that you do must be dimensioned. So my next step is to set up my dimension. For that, I type D, enter. I then, I'm gonna set up, I could modify the existing one or I could set one, make a new one. I'm clicking new. I'm gonna label this one um, P, um, plain, Plane geo, plane geometry, then press continue. You could label yours, whatever you want to label it, your name or something. This will then bring up this dialog box, dimension setting dialog box. The first one to change is or is the offset from extension beyond dimension line, which is this space here. All right. I'm going to change that to about two. The size of this is relative to the size of the drawing. All right. Offset from origin, 
is the distance between here. At no point in time should your extension line touches the drawing. So for this, I'm gonna use the, let's say four. All right, I could make it three, make it the three. three. To see how this look exactly, you can press the tab key. So as I press the tab key, you realize instantly this, this changes, all right? If you don't want it, you can go back to the box and change. Next thing to set up is our arrow. We want this. So we want closed fill arrow, all right? Next, our arrow size, let this be about um, five or four, four arrow size. Then go across the text. We want a text height of about five millimeters, which is pretty much our four, four millimeters. All right. Offset from dimension line, this is the distance the text will rise up above the dimension line. Let this be two. Let's go to primary units. From primary unit, you can decide how many decimal places you want the dimension to have. In this place, I want none. So I click this, select zero for none, then click OK. So this little, little box here shows exactly how your dimension setting will look. Then I type OK. Then set current and close. Now I'm going to start dimensioning. We can choose linear, which is horizontal and vertical, align, which, is, which gives, which align with the slope line and angle, radius, diameter, etc. For this, I want align because this is sloped. I click there, click there. No, I need to change my dimension layer. First, click dimension layer, then go again. Click here, click there, and we have that. Space bar to reactivate the last command. Click here, left click here, left click there, go down. Space bar to reactivate or enter key. Click here, click there, and we go out. Escape. And then that's basically it. The only thing now we want to do is probably is to label this. You must label your drawing. All right. So for this, I'm probably going to use a different color. All right. Text. Let's go to text. And I'm going to copy one of these. Click this and copy. C O enter. And I'm gonna here copy escape. So now I'm gonna click this two times, one, two, and edit. So this is two triangle T R I A N G L E. So a triangle, A, B, C, giving that triangle A, B, C. I click one more time to edit it, giving that A, B, A, B, equals 65, BC equals 75, AC equals 90, 90. And that would have been it. Press escape. And this question is now done. This question is now pretty much done. So we could, I'm not going to show you how to add or to, um, Create model space and send that in this video. All right. That question is done. Let's skip. Any question, guys? Sir, would you trim the circle? No, no, no. Those must stay. Those are construction lines. Actually. Let those stay. All right.